Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you this little cute file folder, this I'm gonna call Healing Craft. As I am crafting from my bed, I had a little accident and I'm waiting for my surgery. We bumped together to each other with my lovely dog, Chasey. Chasey. Hello baby, hello. Yeah, with him. <laughs> and he got... A little bit bomb on his head but he's okay luckily he's okay so i'm crafting from my bed and i'm doing only things i can i'm not di using distress ink i'm just using scissors glue and my printer that's like you know very easy craft nothing too complicated unfortunately i can't use my sewing machine i love to use my sewing machine but this is kind of like healing craft Nothing too complicated, you're just printing out and you are putting together beautiful things. So today I'm going to share with you my little file folder and tutorial for it. Uh, it's on my Etsy now for those who are interested. And it's full of lovely images, full of pockets and some envelopes and uh, openings for making, you know, for tags and notes. and I tuck, tuck like this and another with little decoration so it's full of all kind of tags for making notes and i'm also making my my art journal actually if i will be successful i will share with you later not today but later in a few weeks probably what i am uh, art journaling and of course it will be all around <laughs> all about my little accident um, i'm waiting for surgery as uh, i do have kind of like combined fracture of bones and my knee so i'm waiting for surgeon or for um, doctor who will uh, who will take my case and i need specialist for the knee so Hopefully next week. So here it's another tag I do have in this pocket. And here I do have little envelopes. Sorry for shaking. And I have to say it's very long time ago when I made videos when I was holding my camera up. And it's quite unusual. But you know. <laughs> At least it's working. So here I do have another window pocket. Everything will be, or most of this will be in the, my video, process video, how I made it. And I think I got stuck here. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be folded first. And then on that, this one. And I do have another opening pocket here. With little ephemeras. And pocket here with little ephemeras with file folder and tag. There is lots of space for uh, placing your little notes, maybe pictures. Or maybe you can use it for some uh, holiday trips. I had a plan that I will travel with my dog in Camp One. Unfortunately, it will have to wait till next year probably not this year this will take uh, healing of this will take few few months i guess so here on the end or that back side i do have this triple pocket with tags all those digitals not these tags things i bought from amazon but uh, most of these digitals uh, they are in that file which is on my etsy so tutorial is coming now i hope you will enjoy it I do have fussy cut out all those pieces. I do have 
a smaller file folder and you fold it half you can see beautiful file folder and you have one large one this part and one large one which does have also uh, spine here and spine here like gap here and gap here you will see the the lines then we do have few of these parts with cuts slot uh, kind of like slot pockets inside these i do have three of them then i do have loads of different styles of pockets we do have side or um vertical and we do have kind of like file folder style this and this and then we do have horizontal like loaded from this side it's this uh deep one and there are a few smaller one this one and this one and then these two which has also flap they are kind of belong together so i can put uh, circle here and circle here and cre create kind of like closure with these so these belongs together and then we do have all kind of smaller pieces decorative pieces tags and labels and stuff like that we do have one envelope and as a last thing i do have these two pages sorry i'm gonna move that you have these two pages uh, i did cut the insides you will see there the frames it's this one it does have uh, hinge here and it's this one it does have hinge here and again it does have uh, drawn frame in there so i did fussy cut out the text from inside and i'm gonna be using acetate piece and i'm gonna put acetate sheet in these windows i do have prepared my pockets with frames i do have also here already put a double-sided tape these frames i'm gonna sewn into that uh, base cover which is this one with the gaps here and here so into each gap i'm gonna sew one of these frames i'm gonna be using just simple sewing i'm gonna place it this way and with needle and thread i'm gonna sew it through and it will be like a pocket once i will glue it together we will do it together so i do have prepared my two frame pockets and all that other stuff so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually sew this and i do have one more thing which i will sew here which is this one this smaller part so this smaller part i'm gonna sew uh, right next to this larger frame i do have one smaller frame and then larger frame so that larger frame i'm gonna be sewing together with this at the same position so i'm gonna open this one place that this one this way to match it together then i'm gonna place it to my large part with those with those gaps here and i'm gonna place it to the middle here and poke three holes through to all three layers one in the middle one on the side and on other side i do have sewn uh, these frames and this little booklet inside here i do have uh, threads here visible and i did sew them in the same uh, in the same holes as you can see it's sewn through the same holes here i didn't didn't oh, finish that i'm always trying to kind of like hide the uh, the hole after sewing so i need to work on that a little bit better <laughs> so here i do have that little folder sorry here i do have that little folder folder here i do have prepared the pocket i do have double-sided tape here 
and here so I can glue it together and it will be top loaded pocket and then I do have that other frame here sewn again with three holes through to this spine here and again I do have double sided tape here and here so I can close it glue it together and it will be again top loaded pocket and then I do have lots of other stuff. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab, of course, I'm going to uh, glue these frames, this one and this one. I'm going to glue them using those double-sided tapes. And then I'm going to be using one of these file folders, that bigger one. So this bigger one, I'm going to use this side and I'm going to glue it right here. On these three sides I'm gonna glue it right here and create a pocket or I can glue it this way and create pocket from this side maybe this way it will be better it will be much better to access so here I will have extra page so I'm gonna glue it straight away first those frames and then this one here I do have it glued here I do have page and then that rest, which I already showed you, I glued those frames. So I have top loaded pocket and top loaded pocket. Usually I would use sewing machine before I will glue everything or sewn everything inside. I will do sewing effects around the frames and probably sewing all around the edges of these. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> no. yeah, I will have to wait. <laughs> So now all that rest I'm gonna glue inside. Uh, I can use these sides for gluing large pieces. I can uh, put here this pocket with the flap. So I can play with that rest and place it on spots which I will like the most. So maybe here could be this one with the flap. Flap could be on the top. This could be on the bottom and I can make that string closure between. So I'm going to play with that rest and I will come back to show you what I have created from all of this. And I do have all booklet done. I glued everything together, sewn everything together. So now I can show you what I have created. So this we glued together on the back uh, on that background then i used one of these slot uh, images and i glue it on the top of this pocket i have created little cluster here and then i added just my little ephemeras here this envelope with some ephemeras inside And as I said at the start, I do believe this little file folder can be perfect for summer traveling, summer trips. Here on this side, I glued this pocket. Uh, it does have here also fold. So you can create it as a pocket loaded from this side or uh, I rip it off that uh, hinge or fold here i rip it off so i do have pocket from these two sides i kept it open then i created this little cluster and i did glue it just on these two sides so i do have it like another uh, pocket and then here i use this little tag and this label and created tag spot from bottom uh, sewing of this folder I did show you uh, here as a closure I uh, used this image of that label and I put on the top this number I just glue it on the half on just on one half and I let other half open so I'm using it as a slight closure this way and inside I used uh, this little pocket and on the top I used another that slot pocket and here I do have another slot pocket as decoration these two label and I fill it with those ephemeras and I do have pocket behind here I did show you how I created the window here 
I use these two images to create a little embellishment. Here I do have off cut from this window and this window. I put them together with one brad and I'm using it as writing tags in the pocket. And here this is like another slide pocket. So when I flip it over, I do have another pocket here with little tag. And we do have these two small envelopes and another large envelope. Here I do have file folder and tag. So lots of space for journaling or placing images, your pictures, and then space for keeping maybe labels or, you know, some decorative stickers. or notes and quotes, tickets, anything you want. So I'm closing it this way and then this way. I have created also a little cluster here and I punch the hole through there and I'm using this. It's like a fake leather. So I'm using uh, this trim as a closure and on the back cover we do have this triple pocket and I added there three tags. So that's my little file folder. I hope you did enjoy the tutorial and uh, for those who are interested this design is now on my Etsy and uh, it's also on my Patreon for Patreons with uh, digital design tears. I hope you will enjoy all of these images. Thank you so, so much for jumping in today and spending your time with me. And thank you so much for all your support, really. It's amazing to know that I have you here. And uh, thank you so much for all your beautiful messages. I did share a picture when I've been in hospital uh, that I am waiting for, uh, for that surgery. And I'm still waiting, even I'm at home now. So I'm still waiting for the right doctor, right specialist. So thank you very, very much for all your amazing messages and for all amazing support. It's it's big help. So have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon, uh, as soon as possible. Thank you for now. Have a great day. Bye.